Hi, this is Suzette Allen. Welcome to my video blog. This week we are going to cover CS5. There's lots of great new features. You're going to love it. Well, first thing I'm going to do is open up the bridge, but instead of going to the regular bridge, I'm going to go to the mini bridge. This is new in CS5. I love it. What's really cool about this is just like the bridge, it just is smaller. So if you go right here in this path bar, you can click on desktop. It doesn't really do anything, but if you click on this little arrow, look at that. Those are all the folders on my desktop. I can go straight to my CS5 demos, and here's all my images. Now it's got a little slider, so I can make them smaller or bigger, just like in the bridge. And, of course, I can navigate around. So let's just show you the first new feature, which is really great. It's called cropping and straightening. It cuts out quite a few different things. Not only am I going to show you how to straighten this, I'm also going to show you how to do content-aware fill, and we can fix up these little flares and things in the background. Well, first thing I can tell you right now is this picture is not level. The ruler tool is still right where it was before in CS4. It's under the eyedropper. And when you use the ruler tool, you're going to get a crosshair. You're going to click on a line and drag a line out, and you're going to line it up on that horizon that should be straight. So there we go. Remember, the longer your segment, the more accurate you're going to be. Now, in the past, we would have to go to image, image rotation, arbitrary, all this stuff. Now, it's really fast because see where it says straighten? This is a new button right here on the option bar. If you click straighten, it does it all for you. Not only does it straighten, it also crops off the unneeded part of the file. Isn't that great? Okay, so that's shaved off two or three different steps right there. So the next thing I want to do is fix the little goobers in the background. Obviously, I had something on my CCD there, and I got a little spot, and I have a little sun flare spot. So I am going to use the healing brush, actually the spot healing brush. And the spot healing brush has new features now, like content aware fill, create texture, and proximity match. Content Aware is amazing. And if I just take my brush and use Content Aware and I just drag over the spots that I want to fix, it does a beautiful job. And it's really consistent. Now, normally this would be really tricky, that little um, colored flare, and I'm just going to use Content Aware to get rid of it. Look at that. You can't see it at all. Here's a little thing in the water. Here's a couple little more sun flares from that spot. There we go. And you know what? Let's see. Maybe we don't even want this boat. Let's see how it does on the boat. Oh, perfect. I would say the Content Aware Healing Brush is pretty amazing. I got a couple little funky spots out here. It'd be nice to fix those. And I would say that is pretty amazing. So enjoy this. CS5 is so awesome. There's all kinds of cool things. I'm going to do lots more demos in the upcoming blogs about a great new features and new brushes and more. Stay tuned for more CS5.